Well, this isn't the normal way to work. And you'd be right. So where am I going? Queen Mary's Hospital Cardiology Department. Unbelievable. I thought that was the barrel wagon then. Yes. All shall be revealed. Why well, not? Like that. That would be hideous. Yeah, right. See you in a minute. Uh, this might be overkill actually. I'm only dropping something off. I'm taking a risk. I'm taking a risk. I'm happy to report it's still here. No, go on after you. <laughs> That's all right. He was after it, wasn't he? He's scoping it out. I know exactly what he's up to. Oh, don't want to get stuck at these. I've got a feeling they're going. <laughs> so, what's the story? I was just dropping some equipment back off. Cut a long story short. I have. Um, I've, well, I've had it for ages. I kind of have it, my heart kind of skips a beat. And um, it's, yeah, something I've had for a while. It just kind of, for uh, like, uh, it would just boom, 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 and then that's it, it goes. And it's something, like I say, I've had for ages. It happens maybe once a month, once every two months, maybe once every six months. It's just really, really kind of sporadic. And it's something I just haven't really been bothered about. I think my old man gets it. My older brother gets it, as far as I know. So, like, yeah, I've just completely ignored it. But a couple of weeks ago, it did it for, like, an hour, which was a bit of a worry. Um, ironically, <laughs> I'd already taken the day off. I'd pulled a sickie. So I rung the doctors and just on the off chance that they could see me because I wasn't doing anything that day. And they said, yeah, we'll see you sort of straight away when I described the symptoms and they referred me to the cardiology department so yesterday I rocked down here picked up a, uh, an ECG unit I think it is it's like they stick a load of but I was gonna say probes I didn't get probed like a load of stickers you know monitors heart monitor things on all over your chest and I have to wear it for 24 hours um, but it hasn't happened again. It, 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 I didn't think it would. My heart hasn't been right. It just doesn't feel right. But it's working. Um, so yeah, I've, I, in fact the last 24 hours it's been completely normal. So they're going to think I'm a right sick note. Well not a sick note, but a, uh, what do they call it? Hypochondriac. So yep, I was just dropping that off. I've got to go back next week. Um, I think maybe to have some blood tests. Sorry if there's loads of wind noise. Um, and yeah, they're going to sort of monitor that data from the last 24 hours, which aside from me taking the stairs to work, or not to work, when I got to work to get up to, to my floor, will show no irregularities, I don't think. Personally, I think it's down to the job. I think it's stress that's brought it. I think it's stress that brings it on. I think it's something that I've got and I'm always going to have and it's it's not, you know it's not life threatening it's not debilitating at all in any way you know I mean it doesn't change anything I just think these episodes are brought on by stress and I was talking to my old man a couple of days ago and he said he his symptoms were worse than when you know he was dealing with fucking hell just doing it cheers dealing with shite thank you very much And I don't think I've been as stressed as I am in this job for a long time. But, on that note, and on a happier note, on that note, I'm going back to my old department. I applied for a job back there a couple of weeks ago and heard yesterday, unofficially, that I'd secured it. What was going to happen? Well, I've got a job over there. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, so, yeah. At the most, at the most, I've got four more weeks left of this nightmare. So happy days, and it's Friday. And I've bought a house. Kind of. I've had an offer accepted. Some of you may know, if you follow me on the Twitter sphere, I had an offer accepted on a nice little two bed in Epsom. So, uh, yeah, I'm broke. Well, going to be. 
for the rest of my life. Brilliant. But at least I can paint walls. Go on, go around him. Jesus. Whoa. I used to live there. Fuck, where's my flat gone? But the whole flat's gone. Nice little Thai, thai spa there, drink massage. Always a happy ending. So yeah, that's pretty much why I haven't been vlogging for, I don't know, about four or five weeks now, I think. Just haven't had the desire or energy to do it. No drive. Don't do it. It's people like that that end up underneath an articulated lorry and mares have to end up spending three billion pounds on shit like this and cycle super highways to stop idiots getting run over. I think we really have to start taking natural selection into uh, into account. I'm not entirely sure that person can touch the ground on that bike. And they can touch the ground, just. Oh, risky. Turns out the guy here, where is it? Yeah, he crashed here, apparently got catapulted off his bike, hit a post over there. That's what these flowers are. Not good. It's a sobering reminder that it can all be over in a matter of seconds. When the hell did they build that? He says, driving straight into the back of a Nissan. Still don't know what that building is. I hope that's not some sort of oil. Don't want to get my knee down on the Vespa on a slick of oil. In fact, I think I've probably got this bike further over than I have my XJ6. And that's no word of a lie. Going around this very gyratory over the other side, as you go under the bridge, it's a great little curve. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got this bad boy lower than I have the XJ6, because I'm still a pussy. 